what's up youtube ronix from ronix photography and today this is going to be a different video this is going to be different from the researching videos i've been uploading and as you can see today we are going to deal with this photo and we are going to deal with how we are going to do our with the wrinkles and these folds not all of them but some of these folds most of them and what we are going to do we are going to still use the same method we have been using and we are going to be using frequency separation and if you don't have the action i'll be dropping the link down in the description so if at all you have taken photos and you want to deal with these wrinkles stay tuned as you watch this video so i'm going to start editing this photo and if, if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button so that you don't you don't miss out on videos and make sure you hit that notifications bell to be updated every time we upload a new video so i'm going to start editing this photo and i'm going to do it with the wrinkles so we are going to be using frequency separation and we are going to be using a mixture brush and for the wrinkles that are going to be remaining we shall use a patch tool so that we can get rid of them so I'm going to start by duplicating our background layer by clicking Ctrl J, Ctrl J on the keyboard, or you can just drag and drop here. So I'll delete this. So I'm going to play my frequency separation action, and if you don't have it, you go to my the link in the description of this video so that you can download it and easily follow along. So we are going to do it with the wrinkles and the folds in this cloth. I think it was a dress so I'm going to play my frequency separation action so the radius I'm going to use 7 for this photo then I'm going to continue so I'm going to close this and I'm going to select click on my frequency separation group I choose the lower frequency and I come under the brushes if you don't have the, uh, the mixture brush just right click and look for it under the brushes section so mine i decided to put it out here so you select the mixture brush tool so make sure it is clean you drop here and clean your brush and this is unchecked and the wetness when you're mixing uh usually i make sure my my wetness is all the way because when i overdo it i can easily turn down the opacity of the frequency separation so since i'm going to be dealing with wrinkles i prefer it to be all the way to 100 percent and the mix is at 90 percent the flow is at 100 and make sure the load is at 75 so make sure this is also not checked sample all layers so i'm going to start and make sure when you're mixing make sure you don't cross from the highlights to the shadows make sure you remain within the areas of the cloth where you're mixing so just try to do that so i'm going to start mixing where we have the wrinkles so i come i mix there as you can see some of them are already getting off but for these big ones, the vivid ones, you know, they are really stubborn sometimes. So let me mix. So let me show you guys the before and the after. So far, you can see they are off. So I just come right here. You can see the difference it's making. And if at all I'm overdoing this, uh, it is for the sake of the tutorial. Yeah, that's a disclaimer. It is for the sake of this tutorial. I want you guys to learn something at least. So I'm going to mix. Yeah, you can see everywhere we have a, a wrinkle or a fold, we are going to mix there so that we can flatten. Or what you're doing right now, we are kind of ironing the cloth. So, but in Photoshop, so here we are we mix and make sure you remain within either the shadow area or the highlight area of your photos so you can see 
the before and the after before after so we are clearing the wrinkles or the folds in this photo so i'm going to come right here and i'm going to try to mix this part here i'm sorry if at all i'm overdoing this i just want you guys to see how it is done in photoshop you can see we had a very big wrinkle here or fold so can see you get and drag towards the wrinkle side or you can just brush over it so let us do away with this we had a highlight here so you you guys can see the difference right now before after before after so just continue mixing and if at all you have those really stubborn wrinkles that have refused to be removed from the photo you can do you can play again your frequency separation action and you can mix again so in that way you will be dealing away with those folds in the photos so right now we are using frequency separation but this time we are not retouching the skin uh, this time we are retouching the cloth itself so the arm of the model and we mix there you can see how this is let me show you guys how far we have come with this photo before after before after you can see the wrinkles were too too many and make sure when you're mixing you don't over zoom in because you may end up overdoing this so you can see that is the before and this is the after before after you can see a difference so if at all you you want to do away with more of the wrinkles you can just merge these layers shift ctrl e you merge them then you duplicate ctrl j and you just come right here and play your frequency separation action yeah you play it again then okay and continue so you close this and you just come back right here select the lower frequency make sure the brush is at the wetness is at 100 load 75 <coughs> mix at 90 and the flow is at 100 percent so you come back and you mix you can see a difference and you don't want it to be totally totally imperfect or unnatural so you can leave some little folds in the cloth because it doesn't have to look really perfect so we are reducing on the amount of wrinkles in the cloth of the model so you can see a difference right now you can see it's the second time so if at all i'm sorry if i am overdoing this i just want you guys to learn something so if at all you want to get rid of more of the wrinkles in the cloth you just select your higher frequency and this time you're going to use the patch tool you can zoom in and select and drag select drag select drag you can see how far we are coming so this is an easy way of how to do away with wrinkles in clothes in photoshop so yeah you just come and drag you select where it is and drag so for the areas where we are not able to completely eliminate the wrinkles can come for these harsh wrinkles you can see this sorry if if at all we have any imperfection here we can fix that since we have a mixture brush tool somewhere but i would prefer to leave most of the wrinkles here so i'm going to come back i'm going to come back right here to my history and i'll just come back i leave that 
I leave it at that. So if at all you have the wrinkles you want to get rid of, like these tiny tiny wrinkles, select and drag. You can see how this is before, after, before, after. So guys, this is an easel of how to iron or do away with wrinkles in the clothes in Photoshop. And we have been using frequency separation and using a mixture brush and for the wrinkles that had remained we are using a patch tool so if you have learned something kindly hit the like button and drop your comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you can be alerted every time we post a new video on this channel thank you for watching i'm ronix from ronix photography till next time